When you first learn to tie your shoes, you learn how to do a knot. A normal knot. Just a single knot. And then, when you hit puberty, you learn how to do the rare double knot. And then that's the knot that you have for the rest of your life. When the hell do you learn how to do a triple knot? Welcome to Pint Sized. Welcome to the show. Today we've got a limited edition Belgian triple from a brewery based in East Anglia. East Anglia is a strange wilderness located in the far eastern reaches of England. It's famous for being really flat, having a beautiful coastline, apparently swans like it a lot. It's home also to some amazing breweries. Probably the biggest and most well-known of these is Adnams, based in Southwold. Many of you are probably thinking, hey Ollie, Adnams is a big macro brewery. I see them all across the supermarkets in England. And you're right, they are pretty big, they're pretty successful. But I think a lot of their beers are up there with beer lovers' favorite go-to supermarket drinks. I know a lot of people out there that love their really rich and full-bodied ghost ship. I personally love their Jack brand stuff, their, their Mosaic IPA, their, their dry hopped lagers. Just, they are fresh, they're reliable, they're consistent, and they're delicious. Today on the show, we've got their Triple Knot Triple. It's a Belgian triple ale with intense flavors of honey, orange blossom, and aromas of jasmine and lavender. It's made with Pilsner malts, Adnam's own yeast, and white wine yeast. It's a traditional recipe with a few botanicals added and a six month maturing process. And I picked this one up at their pop-up shop they've got at the moment down in Cambridge. This little thing may be the most beautiful bottle we've had on the show so far. I love the style. I love that they've just gone to this expense to make this little rubber bit. Oh. The beer itself was pretty pricey. I picked it up for around a fiver. And I know we don't talk about cost a lot on this show, but I'm hoping this one's good because it's only 330 milliliters. This one is coming in at 10% and it's got some tasting notes on the side. Pear drops, jasmine, and biscuit. Yum. Let's get this a Stanglian Belgian triple 2017 into a glass and see what it's like. Oh fuck. <laughs> it's been a long while since we've had a triple on the show, let alone one from one of my favorite domestic breweries. I'm hoping for wonderful things. There we go, golden amber, little thin white head, little bit of carbonation on there, but it's just sitting pretty in that little vase. It looks like a vase of pure amber gris. Off the bat, the head is immediately gone. That's stuck around for maybe 10 seconds. There's not much fizzing going on in the glass. I think that that bottle, even though it was beautiful, may have been a bit of a mistake. Oh, salted caramel brownies. Oh, so sweet. Banana bread, <sighs> melting toffee on bananas. There's a sweet bubbly banana bubble gum in there. And that is, yeah, that is a lovely smelling sweet little beer. Cheers. Mm. 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 Oh. <sighs> uh. mm. There's a moderate sweetness there, but it lasts for so long, it's almost overwhelming. I mean, you finish your sip, it's gone, but the flavor's still there. You give it a few seconds, you go back in, and, the, and it just builds and builds, and it's almost overwhelming. Uh, there's a sweet maltiness. It's that salted caramel, brownie, cookie. It's got an oily mouthfeel. There's a bit of alcohol burn there as well. I'm struggling to speak through it without my eyes watering. I mean, we're supposed to be getting orange blossom, pear drops, floral, jasmine notes, biscuits. All I'm getting is the big gold one on the side, honey. <sighs> honey, that's too sweet. Oh, that's such a shame. I was hoping for a lovely, delicate, orange, floral, really dancey around with a little bit of sweet just kind of coating everything, but it's too sweet. It's far too sweet. It's overwhelming. With the alcohol on there, it's almost unpleasant which is a real shame, a real, real shame. I was really excited to try it. Such a famous Belgian style produced by one of our most famous UK brewers here. And I think it's fallen short a little bit of the mark. I think it's just a bit overdone. Maybe if there was a bit of carbonation, if they'd, they'd used a different bottling method, there was a bit of carbonation to break through that really sticky sweetness, then, then the other kind of notes might have come through. But I think 
Oh, as it kind of warms up a little bit in the glass, it's just too thick. It's thick, thick honey, and I... Regrettably, I don't even think I'm going to be able to finish that. He says as he goes in for more. That's a real shame, because I was really, really excited to try that limited edition beer, and at the cost that it was, at the strength that it was, it just fell short for me a bit. But onward and upward, I'll keep an eye out for more Adams Limited Edition and maybe get some of their core range on the show because I do truly love them. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Pint Size. Remember to subscribe if you like what you saw. Check us out on Facebook, forward slash Pint Size Thinking, and Instagram Pint Size Picks. I've been Ollie. See you next time.